The expanded polystyrene foam industry has stated their product, EPS, performs the same, if not better, than extruded polystyrene rigid foam insulation, or XPS. The emphasis is on performance, specific to R-value and moisture. But you only have to look at the science to see the truth. Science doesn't lie. Let's start with the differences in manufacturing. With the XPS continuous extrusion process, a homogeneous closed cell matrix is produced through the entire cross-section of the foam. This matrix of closed cells resists water penetration, and that's important because water penetration can reduce R-value if absorbed into the insulation. With the EPS cell structure, the bead molding process leaves voids between beads where water can enter. Although the individual beads of EPS are closed cell, the voids between the beads can absorb water, which reduces the already lower in service R value of EPS. ASTM C578 tests are important to measure and quantify the properties of each material. What you see here is a demonstration of how each, Owens Corning's XPS, and EPS handle water commonly found in a one, one and a half pound material. In real world applications, insulation gets wet, but it still must perform. When EPS absorbs water, its R value actually decreases, even when tested at lower temperatures. In fact, EPS exposed to water has a lower R value at 40 degrees Fahrenheit than it does at 75 degrees Fahrenheit. This water absorption also subjects EPS to damage during the freeze-thaw cycle, which can have a negative effect on product integrity. XPS continues to have a higher R value at lower mean temperatures, even when exposed to water. In higher density EPS products, the fusion of individual beads is better than lower density EPS products, but the problem still exists. Fomular XPS features 0.3% water absorption by volume across all ASTM types, meaning potential to absorb is very unlikely. Now EPS features 2-4% water absorption by volume across all ASTM types, meaning EPS potential to absorb is 10 times greater than Fomular XPS. Resisting water is critical for high performance insulation because water is a good conductor of energy. So if water gets into the board, it lowers the thermal effectiveness of the board. Uh, water allows energy to short circuit or uh, bypass its way through the board structure and really reduces the uh, effectiveness of the insulating power. XPS, because it doesn't absorb water, doesn't have those short circuits in it. XPS is a closed cell structure and maintains its insulating power in the presence of water because water can't get into it and creates those short circuits. Owens Corning's Fomular XPS Rigid Foam Insulation is well suited for multiple commercial and residential applications. Here's why. It has the industry's only lifetime limited warranty for the life of the building or home. Only XPS has achieved Green Guard Gold certification with strict certification for occupants with sensitivities. Only XPS has third-party certified recycled content by scientific certification systems with a minimum 20% recycled content. XPS is available in multiple thicknesses with straight tongue and groove and scored squared edging. And it's reusable and remnants from manufacturing are recycled back into new XPS foam insulation. From wall systems to whole building solutions, work with an industry leader who continues to take the industry forward. Put our experts to work for you.